Valley was not the first English-speaking colony to visit what's now Massachusetts. The Plymouth Colony was just the first English-speaking people to permanently squat there. Massachusetts is a native phrase which means at or about the Great Hill. When the English were capturing slaves in the New World, they left behind smallpox, which decimated native populations, sometimes as much as 90%. The natives had a lack of resistance to Old World diseases, which evolved slowly in the Old World, developing with the 13 domesticated herd animals, none of which existed in the New World. Even horses, the Spanish brought those there. So they evolved alongside their populations. Once it was brought over, the natives had no resistance to these diseases. Note that before vaccines, one of the first observations made in the fight against smallpox was that milkmaids who had contracted cowpox were not getting smallpox. Cows were also not native to the Americas. The old Patwak area had nearly been abandoned because of smallpox. One survivor who had been in as an English slave from a young age, and may have contracted cowpox, was the famous man named Squanto, who could speak English. In their history books, this is painted as some great chance miracle, because they don't want people to know about the previous voyages, how they've been enslaving Indians and purposely spreading diseases. He could speak English because he had been an English slave. They didn't just find him. Here is what happened at the so-called dinner that Thanksgiving now tries to associate itself with. Keep in mind that this is not what Thanksgiving originally celebrated. This dinner wasn't attached to the holiday until much later. The belligerent colonists in the North were fanatically religious and outstandingly prejudiced. They were starving to death after walling themselves up to protect them from the backlash to their own unchecked provocations. Ending trade, they were forced to negotiate. Colonists were particularly aware of their hunger as they would have been celebrating an English harvest day had they, not, had they been at home. They invited a native man named Masiat to dinner. Or more accurately, they allowed him to come into the settlement because his band had bagged five deer. The colony was heavily inebriated, which was necessary both for the calories and control. Masiat honored his ban, fortunate with a tradition of sharing, and invited hundreds of natives to the feast, who also brought food. The Europeans were not amused, but hunger took precedence. They actually blamed the Indians for hoarding food. It was not long before they were murdering Indians again, all in the good Lord's name, of course. So they didn't give food to Indians, as shown in Charlie Brown cartoons. The colonists are who accepted the food from the natives. What they did share was alcohol.